This is Yang Trader, and this is Midday Trading. So I'm going to do a little update here on natural gas and on crude, and we're going to take a look here at Tesla, T-S-L-A. This video is for information purposes only, not a recommendation to buy, sell, any stock, bond, ETF. Please like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. All right, here we have natural gas, your daily and your weekly chart. Now, very, very easy trade. Been watching my videos. I said we have to watch the top of this candle, and we want to at uh, basically 2 0 flat, and then the low was 1.9. Oh, now yesterday we made a higher low, higher high. So I said, where's the target? Right there at 210. Okay, where did it go? Right there. Okay, what is the high? 2.092. Nice. Okay, 21 day, 2. Uh, a 10. This is what you have to clear. Right now we have a topping tail in the in the old pattern here, just like we had here, just like you had here. But again, it's still early. It's only about quarter to 12. Okay. So here's the key. Upside, you have to close above this 210. That is very, very critical. Okay. If you can, then what we do is we come right over here to the top of that candle. You're looking at 212. That's your next resistance. Then we'll come over here. To uh, 15.8. That's your next resistance. And then here's your gap fill, 2.168. Okay, again, we keep rolling up. Well, we looked at the bottom there, 2.31, 2.32. This is what you're looking for. There's that gap fill. Okay, so gap fill, it gets above that. And then what do we have right there? 2.48. There's your 200 day. But again, everything's based on right there, the 100 day. Or, uh, uh, yeah, 100 day uh, simple moving average on your daily chart, and you got to hurdle over this 2.1 to 10 on your weekly chart for this to go higher. Now, if you look at this 200 day, you're looking at 2.48, and if you're looking at this 50 day, 2.48. So basically, you know, you can get above these, uh, you got two really nice targets. Now, these are going to be brick walls, okay, if you know you can climb above there. Very, very easy. See, I mean, this is just this was so. Just, this is why you trade the charts. Okay, so downside, what we're looking for is you want to look to today's low. Okay, so you're looking at 2.02. They will come right to the top of that candle. You're looking at 2.0, and then we go yesterday's low, 1.91, and then we come here at 1.90. That's lost. You have 1.85, and then we look to that 8 SMA at 1.83. You look at there, 1.80, and then we look here. Okay, at 1.77. Now, I sold my position right into that 100 day. Okay, brick wall time. See that? There's no sense say, hey, if it closes above that, I will rebuy the position because then I know she's going higher. But until it closes above, there's no sense say, I'm going to hold this, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. Sell your position into it, wait for it to come down very, very easily. Okay, so. Uh, RSI here, looking good. Uh, green above your red, looking good. Green above your red here, looking very good. Uh, the key is, as long as we close above this 8 SMA, 1.79 for the week, that's always looking very nice. And then we have your uh, 2.10 here on the upside. Again, if you can crack that, man, you got a really nice target, 2.48, that 50-day, and that 100, that 200-day on your daily chart. But it doesn't mean anything unless we can close above that 2 10 area. Okay, so um, let's take a look here at an hourly and a four hour chart. Okay, hourly chart is that 2.0, came down, held it very, very nice, made a higher low, boom, ran right it up here, 2.09. Okay, very, very nice. Now we're just kind of hanging around here. So what you want to look at here is you want to look at that 2.0 because that's going to be key support level. And then we have your 50 day right below that at 1.99. Okay, so you're sitting right there. On the support levels as long as that hold is good if it's lost then we're going to come down to the bottom here that's that uh, uh 1.92 then we can come all the way down here at 1.87 and even all the way down here to 18.82 and you could fill this gap all the way down here okay so that's what you got to really look watch out here but again if you can hold this upper tier you're looking very very good here now on your four hour chart well as i say I did, it gapped up obviously but it's got to hold this area here because if not you can look to the bottom here, but then we have all the way down here is where we're looking for that gap fill, okay? So it has a long way to shoot down. 
Again, there's a lot of good support here. You have your 21 day, your 50 day, your 100 day, and your 200 day. And I like how your 21 day is going up. Your uh, 50 day crossed all above here. But right now, it's just a wait and see. I have no position at all, okay, in uh, uh, natural gas. Okay, so I sold into that. Now I'm just kind of waiting. Let the trade come to you. That's the whole thing. Okay, there's nothing you can do. You can just sit here and it's like watching paint dry. You just got to wait for the trade to come to you. If it comes down lower, where it can hold support, then you can take a long. If it cracks up and closes above that 2.10, well, then you can get long and then she's going to go higher. So either way, there's a trade coming here towards us. Okay, let's take a look here at crude oil. Okay, here we have crude oil daily weekly chart. Now, we can see here where this was actually was a good and a really nice short here today. I went on with the SCO once we start losing this eight simple moving average here, okay? So we popped right on up here, but then what the, is the tell is when you lose that eight simple moving average, sitting right at 82.81, then it'll come down to the to yesterday's low. Once you lose that low, that 82.40, while it's good night Irene, she's gonna come down. Then you can watch all the way down, but you can see where it blew right through the 50 day and then came all the way down. Now, what I'm looking at here is we wanna watch today's low. See this? This is 80.95. Well, if you just look to the left here, you have 8088. So now we have a double bottom situation with a higher low. That's always very, very bullish if it can hold. Now, you never want to see where you have a topping tail, then a lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high. That's never good. So now we got to watch and see how this is all shaking out. However, it was a really nice short down. And then what I did, since it held, that key 8088 level there, okay? So I took a long in the UCO. Now UCO got all the way down to 3247. Uh, very, very nice. I didn't get to 3247, but I got in at 3260. Right now it's sitting at 3308. Okay, so I got a 33 uh, cent, uh, 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 $33 uh, stop limit on it. And then I just go out, you know, you take your 40 cents and then you go on your way. Okay, so right there is the reason is you just go level Okay, to the bottom of the candle level, to level, to level. Okay, didn't hold, then you look at the next level. Now, if it didn't hold this level, then we'll go right down there to 8070. That's your next level. And then we can come all the way down here to this 8007. However, it did hold that level, put in a higher low, tells me you got to get long. And now we're back here right above this 50 day. So we got to see how this is all going to shake out here today. So now what you want to do on the upside is this 50-day uh, is very, very key. 81.72, very, very key. Now, again, if you can get above that, then we'll come right to the bottom there. You got uh, 81.99, and then we'll come right here to the bottom of this candle, 82.40, and then we'll come right here at 82.80. So all this, these candles here, the bottom was support. Now it becomes resistance, okay? That's just how that is, okay? So... Again, just watch this level, the 50-day first. That's very, very crucial. You need to close above that 81.72 and then right to the bottom of there, 81.99, and then bottom of that, okay, 82.40. Then you have your uh, 8SMA at 82.81, okay? Then again, if you can get above that, we'll come to, to uh, today's high. You're looking at uh, 83.30. And then what we can do is we walk to uh, yesterday's high, uh, 83.91, and then obviously right there, that 21-day, at 84.38, that's your target, okay? So right now here, you just got a trading range. It was a trading range where it was between the eight and the 21 day. Now it looks like it's gonna be all the way down here, okay, your trading range, okay, to your 21. Now again, if it holds that 50, then you got a trading range between the 50 and the 21, okay? However, when you see three uh, red candles like this, when you have a topping tail, that's never good. Now what we need is a reversal candle, okay, to take this up. So let's just see how this closes, okay? Uh, let's see how it closes there today. And then remember, we'll always watch those futures at 6 p.m. because you want to watch the high, the low, and the close. Very, very key. Maybe this will reverse now since we have a nice double bottom situation and we can take it higher. Weekly, well, you blew through that 8 estimate here. But again, you have all the way till Friday to get back above it. We went down below that 100 day. Now you're sitting right above that. Real time price is 8180. Uh, and so we're sitting just above that, the old Hondo there. Okay. RSI, well, you're kind of rolling over here. Uh, MACD, uh, it shows momentum, but right to the downside. See the green below the red, but when it gets below there, that's to the downside. When it gets above, that's to the upside, and that's what you get. Okay. So that's what we got to see here now. See if it holds this 50 day. 
Okay, that's the key. Uh, that's what we're looking for. If you can hold that 50 day, then your big target is going to be that 8 SMA. And then we can get above that and we have your 21 day. Okay, now again, if this loses today's low, then we'll look to the bottom of this candle right there. That's that 8070. And then we we'll look here to the uh, 8007 on your 200 day. Obviously, if that's lost, then we come over here to your 50 SMA here. You're looking at 7892. That's your next support. And then the following support will be 78. Uh, uh, 16, and then you have 77, uh, 70. Okay, so a lot of good support all the way underneath there. But really, right now, this just looks like a like you know I was pointing out here. Oh, we did for uh, uh, weeks there at a time. Okay, see, we had this box situation. We are trading that box. Then we went up higher. We are trading this box. Then we went higher. We are trading that box. And then we went all the way up here, and we are trading this box here until it broke and it broke down. So now. Looks like here, we're going to be trading this box here until we either break up or we break down. Okay, let's take a look here at Tesla. Okay, here we have Tesla. Now, this thing rolled all the way over until we got the earnings. Now, the earnings um, really completely stunk it up, okay? They missed on every, every metric possible, okay? However, the key is he came out there and he was talking about making a car for $25,000, possibly end of this year, maybe 2025, okay? And that got everybody all excited. Also, that robo-taxi, so on August 8th, they're gonna introduce that robo-taxi, okay? Now, yesterday we had a big gap up on, the, on automation in China, okay? Very, very interesting, because what they're actually doing is where you can, they can sell these automated uh, cars, but the key to that is, is when you say, I'm on full automation, you either pay eight thousand upfront, or you can pay ninety nine dollars a month. Okay, so what they're trying to do is be like Apple, where they get that reoccurring revenue coming in. So that's very very positive, and obviously you can see where the stock jumped up here very nice. Okay, so that was pretty good catalyst here, all the way from the low all the way there to the top. Okay, so you have three things in motion, but right now realistically for twenty four, it's kind of a dead because. If they introduce the robot tax, are they going to have a full line of these? Or is it just going to be one and they're going to come down the road? Remember that Cybertruck? They introduced to that and it's supposed to be full blown in 2000. It didn't even come out to 2024 this year and it's still not even ready for production. There's so many issues with that with that new truck, okay? Um, and then did you see, did you see on YouTube that one that got into an accident completely destroyed the whole thing? 100 grand right down the drain, okay? So another thing is the insurance on these things has got to be sky high, okay? So always remember that. However, what he's doing is, <clears throat> what you're, what you, what he's doing is like what he always does. He's selling you dreams. Okay. Uh, oh, we're gonna have this robo taxi. Oh, we're gonna flood the market in China. BYD, it will never let that happen in China. Okay, that's the first thing. Another thing is, do you want to pay eight thousand dollars for full automated? Okay, uh, or ninety nine dollars? You want to keep paying a fee on your car? I mean, come on. You know, that's kind of that thing. But anyway, that's what he's selling is dreams. Okay, now, but you got to be very interesting. Like on Global News yesterday came in, and the biggest, uh, uh, California is one of the biggest states that sells these Teslas because Tesla's everybody wants to be the electric and everything. Okay, I get all that. I'm down with the sickness. Okay, however, the dealers came out there and says, year over year, we're actually selling 9% less vehicles now. So actually, it's declining. Another thing you have to look at too on Tesla is they're actually break even to making just a little bit of money on every car. So you're really not making any money. Car. So that's just why they want to bring this automation in there so they can collect that fee every month. Okay. So that's what you got to look at. Now, me, I don't care if Tesla goes up or down. It doesn't really mean anything because you can buy Tesla long or you can buy the short uh, like I did today with TSLS and I'm up here uh, almost over 5%. Okay. So let's just take a look here. At Tesla stock. So when you when you look at this, I trade the charts, but you always want to look at the information. The, not really the fundamentals, because Tesla has no fundamentals. This is so overvalued for what you're getting. It's selling on hopes and dreams kind of a situation. This twenty-five thousand dollar car, psh, you're dreaming. That's never going to happen. You know what I'm saying? But what they're trying to do is get you to get that interest, and a lot of people like this stock. They say to me, I love the stock to make money off it. As far as Tesla, you know, one way or the other, don't care. However. Let's just look where you went. You went from all the way from 138 uh, here, and then where did it top out yesterday? Okay, this is why you trade the charts. What do we see there? Okay, it went right into it, 
And what happened today? She pulled right back, okay? This is why you trade the charts. Now, again, if it would have closed above this key one, uh, 100 simple moving average, then what we do is we look to the left at a chart here. Then you say the next level is going to be 205, okay? Then what we do is we just keep right on rolling up here, okay? You follow it until you hit this level right here at the 200-day simple moving average. But when you get these moving averages, these are like brick walls. I don't care what you're trading. The charts work on everything, okay? Use a eight simple moving average, 21-day, 50-day, 100-day, and 200-day. So if you know that it's going to go into this 100-day and it's going to smash through, okay, then you know you can say, hey, if it gets above this, I can rebuy this, and I know it's going to that 200-day. But if you know it, it says, hey, I'm, I'm driving right into a brick wall here, you sell into that, okay? That's the key, and look what happened, okay? Yesterday's high, what'd you have, okay? 198.87. Today, Tesla's sitting at 183. See the difference? This is why you trade the charts. Now, let's look at how many gaps in going on out here, okay? So, you have to look at today's low, okay? 183.01 so far, but then we have to look at this 50 SMA. That's going to be support, that's 175.08, but then we have another, the gap fill here at 172.12. Then you have your 21 SMA here, we have your 8 SMA here, but then you left another gap going on here, okay? So I don't, never like those because they eventually get filled. So you have to look at this as 157.51, and then we'll look to the top of this candle here at 147.26, okay? So your gap, fill, gap, fill. You never want to see charts like this that is ugly times 10, okay? So now we have to see. Now, on the upside, you have to close above that 100 SMA. If you can, then we can follow the candles up. But here's your big target is going to be that 200-day at 221.20. Just that simple, okay? So now when this sells off, you want to watch that 50-day, okay? See if it holds. If it doesn't, then you're going to go right to the top of this candle, okay? That's the gap fill at 172.12. If that's lost, you're going to come right there to 165.46. Uh, and then if that's lost, you're going to come right there to 164.05. Then we have this other gap fill, okay? 157.51. And then we look right there as the fill, okay? The high, 147.26. And then you retest all the way down here, okay? So always trade the charts. Look how much money you could have made just right there and selling it right into the old Honda. Okay, now you see all these talking heads, oh, they're going to do this or this. Forget about all this nonsense, okay? Okay, either you like the stock or you don't, don't like the stock. It means nothing. Take all the information that you can and, you know, use that information wisely, but trade the charts because look what you got. Boom, right in there nicely. 198.87. Today, 184. See the difference? Okay, boom. Okay, that's what I got for you. Natural gas, little Krutsky, and Tesla. I'll be back here uh, after the uh, pit close here at 2.30. And remember, the API report on crude oil will be out today at 4.30. Thanks for watching.